Hello, fifth grade, and welcome to the Tech Lab. Today we're going to be learning how to use iMovie. iMovie is what we are going to be using to create our amazing, awesome, fantastic, wonderful, unique, gorgeous, wonderful slideshows in. So it's a really cool application, and I'm excited to show you guys. Let's open it up and go do it. All right, so we are going to look for the iMovie icon on our computers. And it says iMovie. It's a purple star with a camera. Let's click on that. It's going to take a few moments to load up. So just be patient while it is loading. Maybe sing yourself a song. Or just play with your thumbs. Or just stare at your computer. Or maybe hum a song quietly to yourself. The only thing I don't want you to do is to talk to your friend. That is absolutely 100% not allowed. So it's just about to load up. Here we go. And let's let it do its thing. Here we go. So let's start a brand new project. If it opens to this if it opens to this screen guys, we're going to go to where it says file new movie. Okay. Now here is our options for our movie theme. A theme is something that kind of is going to um, show you um, like I guess the look of what your movie is going to be. So these are like themes. Um, think of them kind of as templates. Um, so here's an example of one of the themes. It's called the photo album which I think might be cool for this project. Let's play it. So guys, did you see how the photos, it zoomed into the book and then it zoomed out and went to another picture? So for every picture that you put into your project, it's going to just keep on navigating throughout the project. It has the ability to um, put your pictures to the themes and you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is drag the photos into your project, which is awesome. Um, it's really going to be cool for your slideshow. Um, so let's look at another one. Here's film strip. So get the same idea when we look at the theme. Did you notice how there was um, like you'd go to one picture and there'd show video and then it would zoom out and go to another film strip um, picture and then it would zoom out and go to another film strip picture so it's gonna do the same thing with your movie you're gonna put your picture in it will zoom in and go to another one it'll zoom back into the film strip and go to another one so it's really cool um, let's do one more and then I'm gonna make a test one um, so you guys know exactly what's going on okay so let's look at neon this is probably more of a girl theme um, just because the colors are pink um, but hey if you're a boy and you like pink, more power to you. That's fine as well. Mr. Lusty, your color is purple. So <laughs> if it was a purple one, I'd be choosing purple all day long. All right, let's click on the neon one. Whoa. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So did you see how that was really colorful and it just kind of moved along? So every time you put your picture in, and it goes to another one, it's going to do that kind of fade in and fade out of the pink, orange, and um, those colors, okay? And uh, that one looks a little bit um, funky, okay? So if you, if you like that style, by all means, go for it. There's a few that I would suggest probably not to do for themes, just because it doesn't really make that much sense. I wouldn't do the news theme. I wouldn't do the newscast. And I wouldn't do the CNN I report just because there's no reason to have a news theme for a slideshow. Okay, so let's avoid those ones. Okay, and also probably avoid uh, doing f um, the travel log um, theme as well because it just doesn't make sense. If you don't want to have a theme, you can do no theme, but your presentation's probably going to be a little bit more boring. It's going to be hard to spruce it up. Um, 
But if you want and you want to focus more on just having really close up and make sure that the, the pictures look really nice, then you can do that as well. It's really up to you guys. Um, that's how I want this to be. I want this to be your project, okay? You guys are owning this project and you are um, going to be doing this. I'm expecting you guys to have awesome, awesome movies. So let's take a look at um, one and we'll, we'll, we'll build one together, okay? So I kind of think that the film strip is uh, pretty cool, um, but I want to go with the photo album because I think this one works best for our project okay and I know that some of you guys are gonna say well I can't do this one because so-and-so is doing it guys there's you're gonna have that there's gonna be kids who are gonna have the same exact theme and that's okay okay so let's open up the photo album and let's type in um, our name so I'm gonna say mr. Loves slide show okay and let's click okay all right so we come to this scary looking screen okay and i know it looks really really scary but it's not okay so this is there's only a couple things we actually really need to do um we're gonna click where it says import media all right and then let's let that load up okay and then it comes to another scary looking screen and i'm like what do i do and I need to ask Mr. Love. Well, good thing Mr. Love is here and I can show you what to do. So you are going to click where it says desktop. And this makes it a little less scary. And we need to look for our slideshow folder. Okay. So as you know, I have been sending you pictures through the fifth grade slideshow. So you are going to click on the fifth grade slideshow. And depending on what class you are in, you're going to click on the either Sado's student pictures or Mrs. Littower's student pictures. Let's just say I am in Mrs. Littower's class. Oh, look what you know. Here is Mr. Love. So after I have already looked through all of the pictures and pasted them into my folder, I am going to open them. Now, these are not all the pictures. This is just a handful, probably about 20, of pictures that I just randomly put in. And I'm doing this as an example. You guys are going to have probably 200 pictures that you need to add to your project, okay? So you're going to be adding about 200 pictures to your timeline. And this is how we do it. We are going to hit, click on the top one, and then hold down Shift, and then click on the bottom. And then we're going to find where it says import all. Okay, and let's do that. All right, takes a couple of seconds. And up here, guys, this is where your, um, your photos are going to be stored. Okay, so now this is not the timeline. Okay, this is, think of this as a place that holds your images. Okay. So every time you need to add images to your um, slideshow, say I just sent you more pictures to um, the computer because there's going to be I'm going to be continually uploading pictures because parents are emailing me your guys' pictures as soon as they come in. Okay, so I'm still going to be sending you guys pictures. So say I send you more pictures, you're going to go to here, hit the import button, let it load. Think so. Think it's thinking. And then you're going to go back to desktop. And then do you see up here how it's, it's showing that we're in Mr. Love's folder? We need to go back to the fifth grade slideshow or desktop to retrieve those pictures, okay? So let's go back to the desktop. So I'll probably send you a folder that says um, more new pictures. And you're going to click on it and then do the same thing, okay? I can show you a little bit of that in more detail later, okay? So we're going to work on that, okay? So let's go back to our slideshow and let's import these pictures into our project, okay? So let's do that, okay? So how do you think we're going to be able to move these pictures into this timeline? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Let's highlight them all, okay? And now we're going to simply 
drag these photos down to the timeline. This is our timeline, and this is where we, we need to keep the pictures at, okay? So we're going to drag them down right to our timeline, okay? So let's wait for them to load up. There is a spinning wheel, and that ha that tends to happen when we have a lot of um, data with these pictures, guys. So just wait for them to load up, and then we're going to drop them down, okay? And then let's wait for it to um, load up a little bit. And then I can show you guys a little bit more once the computer gets ready. Okay, so let's take a look at just um, right now without editing or anything. Let's just take a look at and see what iMovie has been able to do for us, okay? So I'm going to hit the space bar and preview this slideshow, okay? And just think, we haven't actually done any work. All we've done is taken pictures from the above box and dragged them down below. So let's just see how this looks, okay? So I'm going to say, I'm going to just change the text here real quick and say, Mr. Love's fifth grade, sec, microphone's blocking my keyboard, fifth grade slideshow, okay? Now let's play this thing. All right, let's play it. So here's the first picture that's zooming in on. And then here's the next picture. And the next one. And now it goes to another pick page. And now to another one. And then another one. So this is all iMovie. It's done this all for us, guys. So really, the only thing we've had to do so far is import the pictures. And now it's automatically zooming out for us. So I think this is going to be a really good start um, for you guys and kind of give you a really good um, starting point for this video, okay, and how to use iMovie. And the last thing you really need to do, guys, is I'm going to pause the video. The last thing you need to do is um, just make sure that everything gets saved properly. So make sure that it says your name and slideshow, okay? And the cool thing is everything saves automatically when you use iMovie, which is awesome. It saves you guys another step. Then you don't even have to sing that song that I invented File, save as, file, save as, type in your name, type in your name. You don't have to do that one. And I'm sure you guys are very happy and you're smiling ear to ear. Okay, so let's exit out and good luck with these iMovie projects, fifth grade. You guys are going to do an awesome job. Remember, work hard and have fun.